Well, uh, Bloodburn was created in 24 and uh, has come a layway in uh, 15 years. Uh, can you tell us uh, how you joined the band? How I joined the band? Yeah. In yeah, 20 uh, it actually started, I, I was a huge fan of the band. Uh, and then I booked a, a gig with a band here in my hometown. I live quite far from the other guys. So we are like 400 kilometers from each other. So I, I didn't know them by that time, but I booked a gig uh, here. And then we had a party after that. And I j played my band called Dawn of Silence at the time. And the guys really liked my voice and they told me that why didn't we know about you when we changed singer the last time <laughs> uh, and when it was time to change again uh, they called me and asked okay and um, bloodbound is a swedish band can you tell us at the moment um how is the metal the power metal uh, seen in your country I don't think like metal isn't that big overall, but we have a lot of bands from here. Uh, we have Sabaton, we have Hammerfall, uh, big bands in the genre, but they are still very quite big here, but I think they are even bigger outside in Europe. It's also the same for us, I guess. We have more fans outside of Sweden than in Sweden. But yeah, we have a lot of bands, but the, uh, we also have fans here, but I think it's bigger in like Germany and all the countries around Germany. And now your, your, uh, the album is your ninth album is released on the uh, 28th uh, May this year. Can you tell us in view of the current uh, earth situation how did the recording go we recorded in our own separate studios uh, we have done that for the last couple of albums so it w wasn't something new and it wasn't because of corona or anything like that we have done that for the last few albums and it, we think it works pretty well uh, we start out with writing songs on uh, me thomas and frederick are the main songwriters and we're starting to write on our own and then we send files to each other back and forth until we have a complete album to record yeah. and then daniel start to record the drums in a studio in his hometown and i record in my own studio and the guys are doing the same okay and it's the same for the promotional clip video uh creator of the dark realm uh I did how did you did uh, you do it? Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, where were they shot? In Studio uh, Two. We sh uh, did shoot it in Stockholm. Stockholm, okay. Yeah, and we just looked around for to find the right crew to do the video for us, and then we came in contact with these guys, and they had a good idea. They started to write like a script for the video, and we felt this f feels good, so. We went for it with them. Turned out great, I think. Um, Creature of the Dark Realm, they sound with scarcely um, two years gone since uh, Rise of the Dragon Empire uh, was a niche. Um, was it the pandemic uh, that inspired you? Who did the fact uh, that you had to stay at home in confinement uh, motivate you more than usual? to write the and who write the lyrics for your song only you or other members of the band the lyrics is thomas a guitar player who writes the lyrics um uh, i have written some lyrics on the previous albums but on this one he wrote all of them uh, and with the covid 19 situation we had planned to record the album at this time anyway so we didn't do it because we had time to do it, but uh, it just was even better 
uh, to do it now when we had more time to. Yeah. Um, now let's talk, uh, let's talk about the cover artwork. Who made it? Um, why did you integrate uh, again this recurrent uh, character who is Nosferatu? Oh shit, I don't remember the name of the guy now. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just blank there. I think you have to Google it. Uh, okay. He did some work for Sabaton, I think, and uh, other bands as well. So it was a contact through our record label. Uh, about the Nosferatu monster, he's our own like mascot, uh, very inspired by Iron Maiden's Eddie. Uh, we want, I know the guys wanted something like that when they started out from the beginning. So he's been on every album cover since. Just like Eddie in Iron Maiden. And I think it's a cool thing to have the, like a mascot you can use on covers and people will always recognize uh, recognize him yeah on paper a uh, creature of uh, dark realm fulfills all, uh, all the requirements of uh, power metal band but the listening experience is epic uh, not a single balance uh, ballad excuse uh, inside, apart from the <laughs> misleading uh, uh, little introducing uh, to the album. The new album is a fast paced uh, assault, offering groove heavy anthems and direct blistering power metal. You're not just copying and pasting from each album, you're getting better each time. Uh, uh, let's not lie, <laughs> you're going up uh, a notch with each album. Where, where do you? Um, plan to stop we never plan to stop we always try to uh, <laughs> do better and better and better albums all the time uh, mm -hmm. you always chase that you know 10 out of 10 for yourself uh, but i don't think we want to reach that because what should you do when you have but it's always like the drive to do another album we can do one even better and uh, yeah that's what drives us and i think that's a good thing so you don't just settle okay we have done this and done this so we're still hungry to do you know write songs that are as good as they can be um patrick a more personal question about you <laughs> if you want <laughs> yeah. Indeed, in this is the first album, uh, Nosferatu. The character is a must, like Eddie. We talk about about him. Uh, um, why do you want to look like him? <laughs> and are very, very, really implants like a. Piercing or fake uh, just for concert or video clips? You mean the, the little horns? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we just started out with, when we did the promo photos for Stormborn. Uh, we didn't have any horns and Thomas started to find, I think it took some from a pen, like a little metallic uh, thing. Okay. And he we glued them on me. I was like, oh, what is this? <laughs> and then it was mainly as a joke from the beginning, I think. But then it was, we got a lot of good response from the fans. And then it's just with the dragon theme and everything, it just f fitted, you know. Uh, and then I just kept going with it so I had, you have a like stronger image thing so yeah is that <laughs> it, the answer of that question um you must miss the stage uh, and the audience too uh even Sook is slowly picking up now but do you plan to play, to play um, a paper few like a uh, show in fact, like uh, other bands uh, or not? You mean like streaming or? Yeah. 
no, we, don't have any, show. we don't have any plans for that uh, because we live so far from each other. Uh, yeah. So we take a lot of planning and a lot of uh, effort to do that. And now we feel, we hope, we really hope it will start to you know, open up a little bit in this autumn. Maybe we can start out a little bit. We have some plans for this autumn and we will we hope it will it will happen so right now it's i think we should have done that earlier if we would have done it and you have a, um, a european tour an, an international tour this uh, this year or just uh, in swedish uh, we have tour plans for next year ah, we did not, yes. we did okay. not uh, want to plan it too early because we were supposed to go on tour right after the album release from the beginning. Uh, every gun, everything got postponed. Now every festival this summer is postponed as well. So in the beginning of next year, we are planning a, a European tour. Yeah, and I had the pleasure to see you uh, in Nantes uh, in February 2016 before Sabaton concert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you think you will come uh, back in France soon? Well, perhaps it's a secret. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the plans yet and don't have all the cities. Yeah. Uh, we haven't played much in France after that. Only like Paris uh, on our tours. Just Paris? Yeah. <laughs> So hopefully we will do more because the fans there and the audience was so great. Yeah, we had a lot of good times there with Sabaton. So mm. hopefully, but yeah. I can't promise anything. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Um, but this is the end of the interview. Patrick, thank you so much. And uh, have you a little final word for your French fans? I just hope to see you very soon again. Uh, if we haven't, if you haven't seen us live, it's about time you will do that. So uh, hopefully we will see you all soon. We miss being on stage and we miss being on tour. Okay. Thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you very much. See you soon in live. <laughs> yeah, hope so. Hope so. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Oh.